Hello and welcome to your 14th C++ tutorial and in this video we're gonna learn about do while loops. Now do while loops are not that frequently used like for loops and while loops but they're really useful in some time so let's go and learn them. So first of all let's take a look at the structure of the do while loop. So the basic structure of do while loop is like this. So first of all we write do then within the curly braces we write the things that we wanna do. Okay. We write the things that you want to do and then write while and within parentheses we write the condition. Oops, I missed a semicolon here. And finally the semicolon. So in while loop you used to write the while condition first and then the things to do. In case of the do while loop, the name is do while loop. So first of all we do things and then we check the condition. First of all we do things and then we check the condition. So even if the condition is not, not satisfied, the loop will run at least one time. Okay, the best thing about do while loop is the do while loop is run at least one time. While loop can run less than one time if the condition is not satisfied, but do while loop is always run minimum one time. So let's go and do that. So first of all, let's create a counter i equals one. Now we want to do do and what you want to do you want to print um, in the loop so when we are in the loop it will print in the loop and then we want to increment the value of i by 1 and finally we write while and within the I'm sorry within the parentheses we write the condition so the condition we write is i less than 5 okay and finally don't forget this everyone forgets this the semicolon here okay so we write do these things while the condition is satisfied while the condition is this so pretty much first of all it will do these things and then it will check this out so let's go and run it uh, so as you can see it just works the same way as while loop or for loop it sprints this and when the condition is not satisfied it just comes out of the loop now let's look at a very interesting thing suppose the value of i is 6 okay now all of us know that 6 is not less than 5 okay so the condition is not satisfied so the loop shouldn't run but as i told you the speciality of do while loop is it will run a minimum of one time so let's go and run it so as you can see it ran one time so first of all it ran it printed then it incremented and then it checked the condition okay so that is how uh, the do while loop works. So that was the basics of do while loop. I hope you guys loved the tutorial and enjoyed it. You understand something and if you have any questions, please write those in comments. Thank you very, very much for watching. Thank you.